How's it feel to be in Utah? You got yourself a new sweater on. Looking good. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Brandon. We're in Utah. Right. New River. That is Green River behind us. It's day 11 now, we broke away from the roof. Just temporarily, no, uh, no hard feelings or anything. We just uh, did a lot of driving on the pavement yesterday and got a little frustrated with, uh, you know, just vehicle repairs and just kind of sitting around and, uh, and all that stuff. And there was talks of Pierre wanting to get a room and Aaron possibly wanting to get a room. So we just decided to uh, get a head start head down to Green River um, to try to hit Moab today. <clears throat> so that's where we are. We found a campsite on freecampsites.net. There's a geyser here. I don't think it's gone off yet. And um, yeah, just uh not a bad view. It's different. It's different than what we've been waking up to. It's also nicer than what we've been waking up to temperature wise. It's about 50 something degrees right now. I didn't even run the heater last night. So we're gonna get we're gonna get packed up. I'm gonna cook some breakfast. And we've got meet Pierre at his hotel. And then we're heading to Moab. Welcome to Trail Spin TV. just took off again it's like I can't you won't do a number two if he's on a leash unless you walk him for like an hour you won't do number two because he's too close to camp if he's on his lead like a 20 foot lead 30 foot lead <laughs> so he wants to run to go do it but then he just goes too freaking far thing he's good for. So he went all the way down there. Like I was saying, he doesn't, he won't go to the bathroom unless he can run or it'll take him forever. And I don't remember him going yesterday. So I let him go. I had some bacon ready for him. Figured once I called him and he came back, I'd give him the bacon. I just repeat the process. 
but uh, he just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what his limit is. I don't know what it takes for him to be like, oh, I should come back now. I was, we were yelling and we're in this canyon so we could hear the echo forever. So, uh, day 11, another chase. Oh man, so I'm a little upset. The uh, We've been staying in all these hotels and driving on pavement and stuff and I haven't been paying attention to the drone battery situation and none of my drone batteries are charged. And I wanted to get this epic scenery, epic campsite from the air. So it's unfortunate, so uh, maybe next time. Charge your drone batteries, kids. Just kidding, we got the drone working. camp in Green River, met up with Pierre, downtown Green River, in a, at a hotel parking lot. We're all, we left there, took the highway, about an hour, now we're in Moab. Uh, Aaron and Ed are still running Buckhorn Canyon, somewhere north of here. And we're all going to link up this afternoon, but... We just pulled into the Sand Flats recreational area and we're going to do Hell's Revenge, uh, Slick Rock, possibly Poison Spider later. We'll see how we're feeling, but that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. halfway through Hell's Revenge and um, this morning when I was at camp when I was backing out of the campsite uh, I heard a popping sound and um, I didn't hear it again I had in four-wheel drive for about 15 minutes getting out of the camping area and then when we got here obviously just even just pulling into um, the entrance I heard another popping sound and it's the u-joint on the driver's side front wheel basically missing a cap so uh, all the bearings inside of that part are gone and it's just getting progressively worse and worse on the trail obviously because we're beating the hell out of it right now but uh, I was looking around for other things and noticed that both the new rough country sway bar links are broken that one the uh, bolt just kind of pulled right through the threads and then this one the bolt sheared right off So, I mean, that could have happened the other day when we were bouncing around out in the desert when during the snowstorm. I haven't really looked underneath until today, so. Probably not that big a deal. I'm not worried about the sway bar links as much as I am worried about the U-joint. I'm gonna try to call around town and 
Let's see if uh, we can get a Jeep repair shop to fix it up. I'm sure these guys are like, no problem fix a U-joint around here. I'm sure there's a hundred places that'll do it quick. But yeah, I'm just stopped for a little lunch. The view is epic, of course, and it's a beautiful day. It's about 65 degrees. I'm happy we're here, not in that snowstorm. And uh, we're just gonna keep bouncing around this trail a little bit, see how that U-joint does by the time we get to the end, and then uh, figure out if we're gonna do fins and things, but more than likely, we're probably gonna head into town. Try to find an auto parts store, maybe fix it ourselves. If not, we're gonna call a Jeep shop tomorrow to get it fixed, but moving on. So we're slowly making our way down from uh, Hell's Revenge. The U-joint is completely broken. At the axle, but uh, doing it in four low and doing these steep inclines, it's, it's handling its own, it's doing all right. So we're gonna have to get that repaired tomorrow, but uh, everything's performing flawlessly for the most part. I mean, not flawlessly when things break, but the Raptor, having no problems with the steep inclines and sharp turns and all that. And then as you saw before, Ryan just crushed Hell's Gate with a FJ80 full of gear. So we're having a blast out here. I love this place. I mean, this view is just, anybody who says they don't like Moab is living on a different planet. Oh yeah, that's not that. Dude, no. I thought you did way more damage. I thought you landed on the door. Yeah, I was afraid to look. Great job, man. All right, you've always heard me say it. You know that I'm a. You know I'm a Jeep guy. Oh, that was fucking incredible. Ryan, you the man, baby. Go Toyota.